it is the human operating system time. So a few days ago, I shared the uh, two platform of uh, Wing Chun King, uh, namely the 1960 platform and the 1850 platform. And after that, I have continuously received message and questions from our Wing Chun friends. And uh, today I like to uh, respond to these uh, messages and uh, so that to make things more clear and because it's obviously uh, many of our Wing Chun friends do not really understand what I'm talking uh, or sharing in that video. Okay. Now, there are three questions as a common denominator. Number one question is, can you show me some uh, sticking body applications? Which is a question which is, it was asked before and I already answered it, but still people asking it. The second is, so how can I compress the 1960s platform into the uh, 1850s platform. Okay, and uh, the third one is, well, after I compress the uh, 1960s platform into the 1850 platform, can I still use the techniques of the 18 uh, of the 60 uh, of the 1960 platform? So meaning. Once one compressed the 1960 platform into the 1850 platform, can one still use the 1960s techniques? Uh, these three questions, when they come to me, it shows that uh, the people who ask this question do not understand what, what I'm presenting. So I want to make it clear today so that uh, uh, everybody can understand. Because it is difficult for uh, many people based on different culture, different uh, school thinking, philosophy and, and so forth to understand. <coughs> so let's start with one thing. In Buddhism, there is a term, uh, a term in Chinese is 不可思议. 不可思议 in English means unthinkable. Okay. So what is this unthinkable means? You know, there are many Zen stuff say, don't think. Well, that's not what it is. Unthinkable is not, cannot be thought or don't think. Unthinkable, when using in the proper context of the Buddhist teaching of the, 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 the Bodha Dharma means, unless one experience on that, that, that thing or that subject, <clears throat> one must not speculate with thinking based on one's mindset. That's what it means by unthinkable. If I never attain that state, I don't want to think about it because I have no way to know what the heck it is. If after I attain that state, then I know what it is. Automatically, my thinking is is, uh, is, is, is proper and consistent. It's just like before you go to San Francisco, you don't think how San Francisco looks like and so forth. Even if you have a picture and so forth, a video and so forth, you want to be in San Francisco and then you can naturally think what San Francisco is and it is consistent with San Francisco. That's how it is, okay? So why is this important? This is important because this is a way how we uh, we need to understand what the ancient is talking about. 
we cannot say, oh, this is mind power, this is this, this is that. Well, we have no idea what actually the ancient is talking about. Okay? And it's very scientific, even like today, in, in today's world. <coughs> now, we need to know what it is before we think about it. So when you watch my videos or you go uh, study different stuff, make sure you know what it is before you start thinking. Learn what it is before you start thinking. Okay. Now, for the three questions, I want to answer the, the, the first question first on this application. In my previous the Wing Chun Need a New Platform videos and uh, in the uh, in the actually in the uh, two platform videos, okay, the first video of the two platform of Wing Chun, I show the Singapore Lao Ga Gao applications of Wong Sao. If you if, if that 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 uh, that applications we don't know, I don't know what uh, Lao Ga Gao is uh, naming it for but in 1850s concrete of the Xiuling Park that is a Bong Sao okay. so, so that is how the application is you don't need to look further from that now, because it is a short strike art all the striking with the, 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 the solder, the, uh, the keitang you can look even like uh, the art of baji the baji have the keitang shoot in with the keitang or shoot in with the, 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 the solder because this is all belongs to the traditional Chinese martial art short strike category so lao ga gao have it Baji heavy, Wing Chun, 1850 heavy. Okay, this is the basic common denominator. And we don't want to look at, oh, this is the Wing Chun according to this lineage or that grandmaster. No, we look at the common denominator. Like now, as what I suggest, go to look at the Lao Ga Gao video in the uh, Monkey Steel Pitch video, which I show in that video. Uh, in that, uh, in the uh, uh, video of uh, two platform, go check out the uh, the Baji video on how they use their their, their, their their elbow vertical elbow or you know they call it vertical elbow probably I don't know but uh, in Wing Chun we call this Peitang okay look at how they use it it's a short strike way of using it okay a sticking body way of using it. And uh, as what I mentioned just now, this is this is a uh, 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 bong zhang in eighteen fifties Wing Chun, but Lao Ga Gao might call it different name. However, you know there is such stuff. Okay, so I present you this. So you don't have to take me as a single point data. You have so many data out there in the traditional Chinese martial art. You can look at the source track out and then you can see the common denominator. And that's how it is. So we use data, multiple data points from multiple sources to know what it is. Not just, hey, you know, show me this uh, uh, applications. Okay? So I hope that we settle this. Now, the questions of compressing the 1960s form into the uh, 1850 and then can the uh, 1960s technique still be used once it comprised into the 1850s? Well, this is again the problem of violating that unthinkable rule one need to understand what it is first between the 
the, the, the platform of 1960 and uh, uh, 1850. As if you go back, you see I list out the different thing which is different. Okay. So it's a different animal. It's like you cannot compress a, a snake into a tiger or a tiger into a snake. A tiger is a tiger, a snake is a snake. The same thing also, you cannot compress Chinese language into English. English language into Chinese, they're different stuff. Okay. Now, today I, I, I choose to, to, to uh, make video this way because I want to show you the differences of these two platforms. Okay. We know that, you know, if you go, you know, uh, refer to the three points I'm talking about in the three characteristics I'm talking about in the uh, in the two platform videos, 1960s platform, you have EG coming out this way, okay? You have EG coming out this way, okay? Your bend knee, your hip, and your your your, your anus, your what do you call it? Your spine, the structure, the triangle, all this stuff. That is the bottom line platform, basic of the platform. That's the first platform. Okay? So you have to be holding this, making this structure and so forth. And somebody even acting using mind power. Okay? Forward pressure. That is how the 1960 platform go. Okay, and of course later on people add in different styles, such as Xing Yi, uh, Tai Chi, and all kinds of stuff, okay, but it's based on this. Okay? Now, those are structural body, 1960 platform. For the 1850 platform, it is a velo, velo or right hand body or the snake body platform. It's based on the seven balls, okay? The feet, the ankle, the knee, the hip, you know, all the seven balls. And then it's based on the handling of the uh, four momentum handles, which is you need to move, uh, 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 mobile, manipulate your body, handle your body in dynamic. You have that. This is one to the calf area, this area, and the shoulder blade area. Okay, all this is presented in the Wing Chun matrix book in the, in the details. Now, this type of uh, platform, okay, if you go deeper, it involves the using of the energy channel and energy channel muscle in the body which is it based on this bladder you know if you go to the chinese medicine the 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 the, 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 the dummy the acupuncture dummy you have a two uh what do you call it uh channels the bladder channel you uterial bladder channel something like that from head to the to the feet okay so in 1850s uh, platform, it relies on those two uh, uh, channels muscle because it's an entire big muscle there. This is called the yang muscle, yang muscle, the yin and yang, okay, clamping yin, clamping yang. So that is the muscle was used, okay, and so it has the channel handling and. Uh, that uh, seven bowls and then the four handles, <coughs> which is it linked to the diaphragm, the breathing, the entire thing is one piece, and that's why if you if you if you read the uh, Wing Chun matrix which I wrote, you can see that I suggest the the, the, the squat, the squat, the oblique, okay, and then the breathing. Which is seeing the breathing down to the to the to the to the lower abs. Those are in the platform of E.G. Kamyama of the eighteen fifty. Now this is Yang side. K 
uh, clamping yang is mean using, making of this, making of this yang side to handle the entire thing. Okay. So, so in the 1850 platform, it there is no structure there. It is, it is like a, you think about it like a snake. The entire body is moved inside out. Okay. So if I show you a really simple thing, like even I just did, handling the breathing, or handling, controlling the breathing, or manipulate the breathing with, with the platform, you know, with the seven bowls, four momentum handles, and then the, 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 the channels, you know, the, the, the muscles on the back, and then the, 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 uh, the, the diaphragm, and also the rib is moving. Okay, it's like this. Okay, you see, I am in the natural resonance state. Okay, watch my other video on resonance state, dynamic resonance state. If you, have, if you are not yet, okay. So if I inhale, look at my back, my 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 rib, and my diaphragm there. Okay, and then I exhale. So pay attention to my, my entire body. Okay, seven bow, four handle, uh, four momentum handles, the, the channels, okay, the 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 uh, uter, bladder channels, muscles, the rib, the spine, and so forth, okay, and the my inhale, exhale, no? just pay attention to look at it, okay? So So this is very different than this type of mechanics. This is very different. Okay, that it, this is this this type of stuff, this type of stuff, or it's the entire body, the six core element. Okay, the first the first four element is, is, is handling. Okay, so so it, it did that because it need to handle the details when it get really close. Now, so that is the the, 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 the basic of it. Now, when you go to a wall, like a, I purposely use wall, not my uh, not an opponent, is because you go stand in the wall. If you want to move your body and to be able to get pressure, lean into a twisting, twerking, you need all this platform developed. Like I showed you here. The entire thing developed. You can go here, going down, going to the ground. The four momentum zone, we use that body type. Well, if you do this, it's a different, different, different mechanics completely. Thus, there's no way you can compress this. 1960 platform into the 1850 platform. They are different stuff. So as what I showed the other day, it's a goose neck. One is you need to develop the entire body, mind, breathing as a goose neck. One is develop that as a, a tripod. You cannot compress this thing. Okay. So that's the basic. We need to know the difference, and uh, of course. For another two point is the, the, the idea behind the 1960 platform is the, uh, the, the weight is behind. Okay, the weight is behind and you can kick as you need, you know, very fast and so forth. That's the idea. And then this is a hand, your body, your, your feet is supporting the hand. That's the 1960. But in the 1850 platform, the weight is up front because it needs to be pricing into it. It needs to be fronted. Okay? And then it need to have this the 12 point, the 6 point, or the 8 point is simultaneously attacking. And this so sure this kick can come in and trip and so forth and walk. However, that is the key of the 12 points, the 12 shot. 
Okay? And the body, the core, is the key because now you have to handle the momentum before your hand techniques. Hand techniques, you might use it, you might not use it, but momentum is the key point. While as here is the hand is the the, uh, the, the key point, uh, the, the first priority, while your, your leg is supporting it. Okay? So, so there are different stuff. You cannot compress and then you cannot say, well, I want to use these techniques. People who train with the momentum will not do the, the, uh, the, 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 the body following the hand. Why? Because the guy who trained with the momentum will, 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 will shoot in, will shoot in, will trip in, will crush in, will lean in, pressure in in the body and so forth. It's very different than the, the, the structure type, the, the, the uh, 1960 type. So it's like you cannot compress a tiger into a snake. Same thing you cannot compress a snake into a, a, a tiger. And when you do this, we like it or not, there will be a distance. Because of this, there's a distance. Because of what behind, there's a distance here. Distance. There's no distance there. Sticking. Okay? And also, if you do cheese out that way, you push in with your leg. Okay? You can, you can play with force, pushing in your leg. But in the short strike cheese out, it is get in. The key is to get in, not standing there pushing. Because when you have a pushing game, whoever will have a bigger body, bigger muscle will win. And the, 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 19, the 1850 platform is once you come, you receive and you get in. So you get in here, you can talk using the uh, 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 mechanical advantage to handle the big guy, as what I put it in the uh, beginning of the book. It's physics. Okay. So I hope that this is clear for you. Try to understand different stuff. Instead of when we see something, right away we use our mindset to think about it. Or uh, the ego come up, oh this is bad and this is bad. Or who is more advanced, who is high, who is low. It doesn't matter. Just look at what it is. And what I present you here is, look at what it is. What is the strength and what is the weakness. Now, is it easy to learn the 1850s platform? No. It's extinct. There's a lot of details there. That's what I said. With, with this one, the entire body, the muscle, and everything have to move. How many today we go that far? Yet, they are, those are just the first five quick quick of the Yikam Shilin of sex. All the manipulations. Okay. So this is to share with you today. Hopefully, this thing, this clear thing, out. we need to know how to think. If we, when we want to, we want to understand what's going on, and then uh, we need to know what is, what is it. Okay. So this is for to to further elaborate what I'm presenting in that uh, uh, two platform videos. And since Wing Chun is a sticking body short strike, one type of sticking body short strike, you get the Lao Ga Gao from Singapore, the Ha Gao, Ga Gao, they have that part of techniques, short strike techniques. The Ba Ji have that techniques. The, uh, the, there are different, there are many different uh, short strike around China. Which is still exists. You can look into it. Okay. Because it is short strike. First understand what is the short strike. And then you understand what is the Wing Chun uniqueness. Okay? So this is uh, to share with you today.